Welcome to our news channel. You are watching your news world. If you like the video please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon for new notifications. The Trump administration has repaired the reporter's press card, these conditions placed in front of. White House Press Secretary Sarah Hacobby Sanders said in a statement that the government spoke to Acosta on Monday afternoon and told them that her press pass has been returned. Washington, the White House has returned CNN's press Jim Acosta's press pass to him. After this, CNN withdrew the lawsuit against U.S. President Donald Trump on Monday. According to the news agency if CNN tweeted on Monday, today the White House returned Jim Acosta's press pass. As a result there's no need for our trial. White House Press Secretary Sarah Hacobby Sanders said in a statement that the government spoke to Acosta on Monday afternoon and told them that her press pass has been returned. However, Acosta's press pass has been given on condition of adhering to the rules of the President's press conference. Will be decided on court verdict. In this context, on Friday, the judge accepted the request of CNN and ordered the White House to return Acosta's press card as it is a violation of their constitutional rights. After this order, White House Press Secretary Sarah Hacobby Sanders said in the statement, We will temporarily rest for the hard press of the journal on the court's decision. CNN and other media groups, including Trump's favorite Fox News, have supported the lawsuit. Everyone claims that the cancellation of Acosta's entry letter has broken the constitutional guarantee of the independent press. Kelly said that her order was based on the proper procedure for the journalist and she would take separate hearings about the first constitutional issues, including the First Amendment of the independent press guarantee, on the stake of other constitutional issues. In Washington, he said in the court, I want to make it clear that I have not decided that the First Amendment has been violated. CNN's lawyer said in the court during Wednesday's argue that the White House had evidence of acoustics by cancelling the letters, under the First Amendment rights, they violate the right to freedom of speech.